Hello and welcome back to Metaverse. For today's video, we are going to be talking about why NFTs are stupid. Let's get started. Reselling digital assets has been a common practice for quite some time. And you probably already know that if you want to sell anything that you purchased, defining value for digital products can be challenging. Nevertheless, digital items have demonstrated their ability to hold true worth. The value of the majority of objects is determined by two factors. One is the actual tangible utilitarian use that this device is capable of to improve your quality of life. A tool drives an automobile that accomplishes tool work. The second component consists of intangible values of significant scarcity that it stands for in its context. Even if the Declaration of Independence is merely a piece of parchment with a writing on it, a PT cruiser is unquestionably more precious. And if these make use of scarcity, which is typically only seen in physical goods, to further this idea, create a batch of 100 JPEGs with a unique identification number so that it can be recognized and such. The issue is that this is unnecessary. If you're not going to sell it or resell it, this is a speculative market. Thus, there is no reason to restrict the infinitely reproduction of a resource. You could wonder if these NFTs are truly useless. But unlike actual speculation, these items will eventually be worthless. How do they get such a high price? Purely arbitrary. Unheard of items that break the million dollar mark. Well, it's definitely a fraud. There is strong evidence that something similar is occurring in NFTs at the moment, with individuals with vested interest purchasing and reselling these items for far more than they are worth to sustain the value of NFTs as a whole. Say for example, me and Gary weren't buying our copies from one another. Instead, we just go out and buy somebody else's copy for a thousand dollars. It might be more difficult to track down. Sure, we might initially lose money, but in a long run, it will increase the value of every copy we have. Most NFTs do not typically sell for millions of dollars. Instead, you might query if they sell for a few hundred. Why would someone purchase these? In a speculative market, you purchase fresh inventory in the hopes that its perceived value will rise and that you may sell it for more money than it was originally worth. The issue is that it gets passed off swiftly until someone is left holding it at the end, at which point it is worthless. The issue with larger businesses, developers, or groups seeking to accomplish this is that they just want to sell as many NFTs as they can, knowing well that they will eventually be worthless. We have now heard every defense offered as to why NFTs may be worth more than merely reselling. Let's imagine you have a nice weapon in a game with some crazy randomly generated stats. It looks fairly cool too, and it's so cool you want to use it in all your other games. You might use that weapon in another game with the help of a NFT and feel as though you truly own it. Nevertheless, even though this is almost legally correct, a NFT might prevent it from happening for a variety of reasons. A 3D asset is provided to you as a NFT. Now that there are sufficient open-ended and portable formats, any device can see that 3D asset. However, as soon as you introduce any other component in including code describing the weapon's stats or even the fact that it's a weapon, the system starts to break apart, even though it's in the same game engine, such as Unity and Unreal. None of those values would be recognized outside of that application. Instead, it would just be arbitrary code with no animations. Many of those ideals are not important in the context of the world at large. A hundred thousand base hit points per character in a game doesn't really really matter for a weapon that deals 5 damage per second. To support these NFTs, the entire video game industry would have to be redesigned. Some have suggested that processing the original file used to produce digital art rather than 
than merely a PNG or MP4 could have value, even if you send the Microsoft Paint file you use to make the original piece. It will still be a duplicate. The data bits and bytes didn't just stroll from your machine to someone else's, although you merely duplicated and relocated it. The information is still physically kept on your hard disk. It is equivalent to making another JPEG. You are aware that authenticity is a fake. Although the creator may have given their approval, DreamWorks also did so when they de-uploaded Madagascar 2 to iTunes. NFTs do not currently have any real value and never will because the market is purely speculative. NFTs wouldn't necessarily be necessary for reselling digital goods, but betting on them would be trying to solve a problem that doesn't exist. In actuality, it only makes the issue worse. Many large corporations are exploring this option. It can occasionally be extremely egregious, but things might always get worse, and hence impossible to regular folks to avoid. Imagine that you are playing Battlefield 202020. It's a brand new game made solely using NFTs. It's a store with a variety of skins, hats, cats, and other stuff. Everything in it is fairly similar to a typical microtransaction, but there is one difference. Each of these items has a artificial scarcity. You can buy them, but you have to move quickly. If not, scalpers will take them and resell them for much more money in the market near the battleground. Also, unlike TF2, these skins would be obtained randomly from drops. The fact that so few of them exist raises their perceived value since scarcity increases value. The publisher keeps a portion of each sale and uses a storefront to resell these skins. Now that NFTs are so despised that any game, even considering using them now, has a much higher chance of failing. Nothing happens if nobody plays the game. Is there a sufficient number of people that choose to stay away from this because, well, it only makes things worse. From our discussion, what have you learned? Please let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you enjoy this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. See you in our next video.